March 11, 2011, a devastating earthquake struck Japan, shaking buildings, crumbling structures, and sending a destructive tsunami on shore. It was a kind of earthquake experts say we here in the Pacific Northwest could one day experience. We call it the big one, the result of a quake along the Cascadia subduction zone, a 600-mile-long fault offshore that stretches from British Columbia to California. But on this coming March 11th, we'll be able to get a little warning before that or any quake strikes, thanks to a system called ShakeAlert. My role is uh, the lead investigator in the state of Oregon for ShakeAlert. So University of Oregon seismology sure professor Douglas Toomey is. helped create it. The system will give us anywhere from a few seconds to up to potentially a minute or more of warning, depending, of course, on how far we are from the fault. Well, if the earthquake occurs right below my chair, I don't get a warning. <laughs> but it could be anywhere from seconds to many tens of seconds in terms of the alerting. The system relies on thousands of sensors, both onshore and off. When an earthquake like the big one hits, those sensors will alert us that the quake is heading our way. The goal of Shake Alert is to protect people and to protect things so that afterwards we can recover well. Which is why Toomey says if we don't already have a plan, we should make one now so that when that alert goes off, we don't panic. We don't try and run, but instead we find a safe place nearby to duck, cover, and hold on. Studies have shown that many times when people get hurt, it's because they're running and the shaking's occurring and they hurt themselves or they're hit by flying debris. The alert will come automatically to smartphones, much like an Amber Alert. You can also download an earthquake early warning app. Just make sure it says it's powered by ShakeAlert. Experts now say there's a roughly 30 percent chance a magnitude 8 or higher earthquake will happen in our area in the next 50 years. And this kind of warning will save lives. In Portland, Keely Chalmers, KGW News.